Hey, what's up guys? We're back after a long time and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create these nice cubism art style posters. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the art we are going to make today. So first things first, we're gonna start off by creating a new file and I'm choosing these settings and hitting on create and I'm gonna add the image. So this is the image I'm using. I'm gonna make it big enough and put it here. So I'm just gonna rename it to the main image. And then first things I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna choose polygonal lasso tool. And I'm gonna start off by, you know, uh, selecting the image. Just gonna select it like this, like I'm actually um, using a scissor to cut this image, for example. Okay, now that we have selected the image, for this one, we need to just cut his face and this area between his arms. So I'm just gonna uh, hold on option so, so that I can subtract this area. And by holding option, I would just start uh, selecting these areas. Uh, I'm just gonna start off with his hair. And I came up with something like this. And from here, I'm just gonna hit Command J to create the duplicate. And I'm just gonna name this one main image. And we're gonna keep this, but we're gonna create some more cutout effect, stack them all over each other. So if I just make this layer invisible, we have something like this, that is cool. <clears throat> And now uh, I'm just gonna make the main image invisible and I'm just gonna create some cool effect for the hands. So here I'm just gonna select something like this and make sure you are on stock image and hit control J. So this is, uh, I'm gonna call it uh, left arm. It's actually his right arm, but we're gonna name it left arm from our perspective. And again, I'm just gonna choose the stock image here. Left bicep. Okay, and I'm just gonna choose the left bicep. Hit Command T and make it big. So rotate it a little bit so we would have this effect. And for the right arm, also I'm just gonna make it big. So I'm just gonna hold on Shift and make it a little bit bigger. That make it uh, shorter. And rotate that. You know something like this one and just gonna cut it from here because of his hand so like that hit mask so that will be awesome maybe just, uh, just bring it up a little bit more somewhere around here that is cool and i'm just gonna click on it convert it to smart object uh, make the position a little bit better and bigger and that's it yeah that's that's actually cool now for this one, again, I'm just gonna choose another stock image that we have. Okay, so don't worry about these areas because we're gonna fix that and that's how we're gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna make this stock image invisible and bring up the main image and make sure this one is uh, below the layers, the cutout layers. So as you can see, you're having something like this and you can just fix this one. So I'm just gonna make this one a little bit smaller, you know, okay. And everything is actually cool here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with his face. Um, and I'm just gonna use the main image that I have here. I'm just gonna hit command and select the layer. So now we have the main layer. So if I just, you know, cut all of these arms, you can see we have it, but I just want his face. So I'm just gonna deselect that and simply just select his face, but I'm just gonna you know, do something like, for example, on this and on the main image, just gonna hit Command J, just make it big enough, you know, awesome. So as you can see, we have some uh, parts around here that we need to delete. So I'm just gonna click on my main image, click on mask, bring up my brush, uh, the general brush with a soft round brush. 
make sure the flow and opacity is on 100 and i'm just gonna delete those parts also i'm just gonna make all the arms visible and i'm just gonna make sure that everything is okay so i'm just gonna click on the face bring up the lasso tool and i'm just gonna select his eye here hit on shift f5 or you can simply go to the edit feel and content aware and don't worry about that part i'm just gonna do the same thing with this eye here do the same and again don't worry about that part and here i'm just gonna choose clone sample tool i'm just gonna create a sample by holding alt and select here and then you know maybe here just you know but don't worry about the details because we're gonna add some effects and it's gonna you know kind of make those parts cleaner again i'm gonna click on a polygonal lasso tool go to the main image and here i'm just gonna select uh the argentina logo so let me just okay so now i'm just gonna add some highlights and shadows and i have you and i have selected my soft round brush with the color of white you can just change this color by hitting x and i have put flow on 15 and just select the right arm and by holding command and clicking on the thumbnail the right arm will be selected and i'm just gonna you know uh, draw some highlights over there and for also for the right bicep i'm just gonna do that here maybe i would just put the flow on 25 again on the right bicep i'm just gonna hit x to make it dark here and also on the right arm i'm just gonna do the same here so as you can see we're having a cool effect there also for the main image here i'm just gonna add some shadows um, here so as you can see we're having that uh, cool cutout effect also for the left arm i'm just gonna do the same And now I'm just gonna type a uh, line of Messi with a color of white. I'm using Street Wars um, font, but you can also use other types of fonts. I, I sometimes use this uh, A another tag regular, but for this, I'm using Street Wars regular. Just gonna make it big, rotate it. Just gonna place it here. Make sure the layer is on top. So I'm just gonna bring it on top and i'm just gonna position it right like so and then i'm just gonna click on the right arm again select that go back to the text hit unmask and from here i'm just gonna double click on my layer style and by holding alt i would just bring it here and also this one here so as you can see it is reacting but i'm just not gonna make it fade away something like that and also for the white a little bit so as you can see let me just zoom in so that you can see here so you can just you know if you if you pay attention to this area you can see how it is reacting okay and then i will select the mask bring up my brush with a flow of 15 just you know make some of these parts invisible also i would just like to bring back the I see the S and I, but make it darker. So something like that would be nice. Okay, and then here again, I will say uh, World Cup. Turn it here, bring it to here. Just gonna position it there. I'm just gonna rasterize the tie, bring up my warp, and I'm just gonna position it uh, below this point. So that's it. Again, I will just double click on it holding alt I would just make it blend nicely and hit a mask bring up my brush I'm just gonna make it uh, blend much much more better and from here I'm just going to deselect and hide my background and on top of everything I'm just gonna hit command shift option e to create a duplicate so this is the merged duplicate and on the background i'll just 
click on solid color and I'm just gonna select a nice blue like this and I will go to the merged here go to the filter and filter gallery and I'm just gonna zoom out so that you can see I'm just gonna select artistic and cut out so I have it here I'll just make it visible and as you can see it is giving us a nice effect I'm just gonna go around and see how it looks I'm just gonna make the edges more simpler Maybe six or seven I believe six is good and the number of the levels I'm just gonna bring it up and the edge fidelity I would bring it up also so that I would have much more details it's gonna on OK, as you can see, again, I'm just going to hit on Command Shift Option E. And from here, I'm just going to show you how um, I'm going to, you know, add some shapes. So for those shapes, I will just uh, choose my brush that I have with a flow of 100. So this is the brush. So if I just zoom in, you can see how grainy it is. I'm just going to make it smaller and keep it as it is. I'm just going to select elliptical marquee tool I'm just gonna do something like this for example and i'm just gonna right click on it and click on make work path hit on ok go to the path here so as you can see we have it we have the path here go back to the layers make sure that you create a new layer so this is a uh, doodle for example again make sure you have selected this new layer Click on B to bring the brush up so you can choose whatever brush you want. Go to the path and click on this icon here. And as you can see, it is giving us that cool uh, shape. Also, one more thing is that if I just control Z and undo that, you can make uh, your brush much more smaller. Click on that and now you have much more smaller strokes so i'm just gonna choose this one and hit delete so it will just delete the path and here for this doodle i'm just gonna make it look like this and i'm gonna click on the character here and hit on mask and hit command i to invert the mask and i'm just gonna unlink that so that i can simply position it as i want so i believe this is cool, everything is fine. And at the end, we're gonna merge everything together. So I'm going to click on Command Shift Option E, go to the filter and filter gallery again. And from here, I'm just going to choose texture and texturize. So as you can see, it is giving us a cool uh, texture. You can change it between, you know, like brick, uh, relap. Um, I would usually use canvas and you can bring up the scale and just you know to have much more detailed canvas look i'm just gonna bring it around 100 and the lighting is on yeah. and you're actually good to go hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace